everyone, so I just finished filming this hair tutorial and I am really loving it. It's really cute and I think it just puts a nice twist on a regular side braided ponytail and just adds a little bit of sass. Because before I started braiding my hair like this, I would typically just put it in a side ponytail, like the traditional kind where it just starts right here, the braid. And I would typically wear my hair like that to work because I want my hair out of my face and out of the way. But then I started braiding my hair like this and I got a lot of compliments on it saying that it looks like something out of Game of Thrones or Oh Hey Katniss. And I also personally think it looks kind of like something that Elsa would wear from Frozen. Nothing exactly like any of those, of course, but just kind of similar. So I'm really excited about this because it's my first hair tutorial ever, and I've been wanting to do one for quite a while because prior to this, I would like never do my hair. Like for me, doing my hair was... After I wake up, I brush my hair, and then that's it. I just brush my hair and leave it down naturally. So anytime I want to do something different with my hair, this is what I usually do. And it's really quick and easy, especially if you have experience braiding your hair or French braiding your hair. But even if you haven't, I feel that after you do it a couple times, you'll get the hang of it. So anyways, I just love this hairstyle, and I'm hoping you guys will like it too. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is slightly dampen your hair, and I've already done so using some water in this spray bottle, and I need my hair to be a little bit damp so that I can put in my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin, and I like to put this in my hair before I start braiding it because my hair just tends to be a little bit poofy and a little frizzy and has a lot of flyaways sometimes, so I like to put this in my hair to give it a more sleek and smooth look, and I find that using this makes the hair more easier to work with when I'm braiding it. But this step is totally optional. I'm not saying you have to go out and buy this specific product. You can use whatever you have in your regular routine, or you can just skip this step altogether. Then you're just going to brush your hair all to one side, and I am deciding to put my braid on the left side of my face. But of course, you can also choose to put this on the right side. It's totally up to you. So now I'm going to part my hair to the side, and so since I have my braid on this side, then I'm going to part my hair more on this side. So I'm looking at where my pupil is on this eye, and then lining it up with my hair. So I'm going to part my hair right about here. So just line it up right here. And we want to part our hair more to one side, kind of like in a deep side part as opposed to just straight in the middle because we want our braid to start more on top of our head as opposed to over here. To start off the braid, I'm going to take a section of hair about like this. And I'm going to split that into three sections just like when you start a regular braid. So begin by taking an outer section and braid that under the middle, and then take the other outside section and braid that one under the middle. And now we are going to incorporate outside strands for a Dutch braid. So to do this, you're just going to add a little section of hair to the outer section before braiding it under. So take an outside section, add a little bit of hair, and then braid it under the middle. And then on the opposite side, do the same thing. So add a little bit of hair and braid it under. So you're going to continue doing this until you get to about your ear area. And then once you get to this point, you're going to incorporate the rest of your hair into the braid. 
We're still doing a Dutch braid, but we're just taking bigger sections now. Then once you run out of hair to add, then we can stop the Dutch braid and then just continue braiding like normal. And then when you get to the end, just tie it off with a hair tie. And then because I want my braid to be a bit thicker, I'm just pulling at some of the strands. Just make sure you don't pull too hard because you don't want any shorter strands to come out. Now that completes our side braided ponytail. And if you have hair still sticking out over here because your hair is too short, you can always just pin that back. You can also add hairspray to this if you want, or you could also add a bow down here or tie a ribbon around it or a fancy ponytail, but I'm just going to leave it like this. And like I said, I've been wearing my hair a lot like this lately, and I'll be continuing to wear it like this a lot throughout this season because it's just easy and doesn't take a lot of time and also doesn't require the use of any heat. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and please let me know in the comments your opinions on this and if you've tried this hairstyle yourself or something similar to this. And if you have any other hair tutorial requests, you can leave your suggestions. I'd love to hear them. So yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!